everyone! Welcome to Barbie's World, my cooking adventures featuring Family Lunch Diary. Today's episode is especially dedicated to my brave little one's 12th birthday. Today, we'll be making spicy tofu barbecue skewers, chicken schnitzels, and shrimp and moringa in alfredo sauce pasta. You may take note of the ingredients as we go along. Let's get cooking! Let's prepare the marinade for our barbecue. In a shallow bowl, mix hot and spicy banana ketchup, oyster sauce, and juice of half of the lemon. To get more juice from the lemon, roll it first and cut it crosswise before juicing it. You may also put the whole lemon in the microwave and heat it up for 10 to 20 seconds. Into the marinade, Add a few tablespoons of soy sauce. And a couple tablespoons of brown sugar. Season the marinade with a very little salt and a lot of pepper. You may adjust the seasoning according to your taste. And then mix everything together. Cut the firm tofu squares into four pieces. Marinate the tofu, making sure all tofu are covered with the marinade sauce. Thread the tofu into the skewers. Take a piece of pineapple chunk 
at the end of each tofu skewer. Prepare the grill. Grease the grill with cooking oil to prevent the tofu from sticking to the grill. Carefully, continuously turn the tofu and baste it with the marinade each time you turn it. This will also prevent it from sticking to the grill. Keep an eye on your tofu or this will happen. But that's okay. Don't be too hard on yourself. This is just one stick. Just move on. Next dish is chicken schnitzels. A schnitzel is the national dish of Austria that is traditionally made using the veal. While chicken schnitzels were adapted by European Jews and are popularly served throughout Israel, I was not able to film how I prepared the chicken breasts because that is one of the mishaps of this video and the story of my life. I will just tell you how I did it. I'm sure you can follow. Slice the chicken breasts and thin it by pounding it with meat tenderizer or a rolling pin until it is around 1 8 to 1 4th inch thick. Onto our breading station. A standard breading station will have flour, egg wash, and breadcrumbs. Egg wash is a mixture of beaten eggs and water or milk. Step 1. Fill one plate with flour. Pat the flattened chicken dry with paper towel then dredge in flour, shaking off the excess as you go along. Step 2. Fill a bowl with egg wash to dip the chicken in. Step 3. Finally, coat the chicken with panko breadcrumbs. This breading technique works because the flour sticks to the food, the egg sticks to the flour, and the breadcrumb sticks to the egg. Heat the oil in a large frying pan over a fairly high heat. You may also add butter to make it tastier. Cook the chicken schnitzels one or two at a time. Sizzle them for two to three minutes each side until completely golden. Then lift out onto kitchen paper to drain. Clean your oil from time to time by straining the loose breadcrumbs to prevent burnt taste.
Italian schnitzels is best served with plain or compound butter and a squeeze of lemon. Sauté garlic until fragrant. You may also add butter for buttery taste. Now add the shrimp. At this point, you may also add Prosecco, a sparkling wine, but this is optional. I love doing the signature chef toss when cooking. However, direct boilet experiences many heart attacks when I do this because he feels the dish will splatter all over the place and I will make a mess. To the dish, add green peas and add more butter because butter makes this planet a happy place. And in cooking with wine, it enhances the flavor of the dish and leaves a concentrated flavors including acidity and sweetness. Cook the dish with wine for at least 20 to 30 seconds after adding the wine to allow the alcohol to evaporate. This makes the dish perfectly safe to children. Now remove the cooked shrimp from the pan. Heat one can of evaporated milk. You may also use all-purpose cream. Add one small bar of pasteurized processed cheese like Peso, Eden, Cheesy, Danes, and Chevital to name a few. Of course, this is not sponsored, but I am open to sponsorship. Just send me an email. <laughs> Cook your milk and cheese mixture until the cheese is melted. Do not boil the milk. Season with pepper. You may also season with salt, but keep in mind the cheese is already salty. When the cheese is melted, add the shrimp and green peas mixture. Add the moringa leaves and mix well. Remove the pan from the fire and serve. This is the picture of my battle scar. Here's the story of it. Twelve years ago, heaven needed more guardian angels to look after so many babies in the world. He chose my brave little one, my princess, Baby Reggie. She was just eight weeks old when God sent her on a mission. I am constantly aware of her absence, but God needed her more. Baby Reggie, Remember you are always in our hearts. Just continue to be God's best guardian angel. We love you from eternity and beyond. Happy birthday, my brave little one.